So we continue from where we stopped. We've succeeded in building a Eureka server uh, in the previous in the in the class before this one. And now we are going to make the services, these three services we created, we are going to now make them to become Eureka clients. So how do we do this? We do this by modifying the pom.xml to add the necessary dependencies that are going to make the services Eureka clients. So just like you know, this is the Eureka server and it's working perfectly. We've created it. Again, if you've gotten to this extent, you've done so well, thumbs up to you. And I'd like to thank you very much for being there. And I'd like to also, um, I'd like to recommend that you don't give up, just keep moving. The more you learn, the more you get a clearer understanding of this concept and the more you can do something bigger. So I believe you can do it. So I'd like to remind you to also subscribe so that we can work together as a team. If you have any challenge, leave, leave it below for me. Let me know so that I can reach out to you. We can talk and I explain uh, to you the solution and give you the needed support uh, to solve your problem. So feel free to subscribe, write me a comment, uh, like and share this video if it's been informative for you, okay? So let's see, we have the steps we are following. These steps are also in the web page. So uh, check the uh, description box. You'll see a link to the web page that contain all the procedures and all the, this, uh, the, the, the source codes you need. But I'll recommend don't copy and paste. Type the source codes yourself and it becomes clearer to you. So we have step nine, we completed, create the discovery server Eureka and make the services Eureka clients. All right, so I'm going to basically, I'm going to set this to green. Mm -hmm. So let's go to our microservices to see. Now, if you look at the, I'm going to close, I'm going to close almost everything and then open what I need. All right. So if you look at the discovery server uh, application, you can see that we have enabled Eureka server in the Eureka server. So you can actually go to each of the clients and enable Eureka clients in all these other services. It's, it's not compulsory, but I think it's necessary to do it just to be sure. So I'm going to come here to SRC main. I'm going to come here and I'm going to add enable Eureka client. That's enable Eureka client. Okay, so Okay, so it's not going to work at this time because we need to actually take the first step and that is we need to add, update the pom.xml to add the enable a, a Eureka client, uh, this, uh, the Eureka client dependency, we are going to add it in the pom.xml file. So what, what I normally do is to go to the pom.xml file for the uh, Eureka server, and then I'm going to for the for the server the pom.xml is this so so this is pom.xml for the server. Now I'm going to close every other thing that is not pom.xml. I'm going to okay. So we have this. I'm going to close this. I've not made any changes. So I made so. This is the discovery server. One thing we need to add is this dependency that says enable your uh, Spring Cloud Stata Netflix Eureka server. But we are actually going to copy across and now we are going to change it to Eureka client. So go to dependencies, control V, and just clean up a bit. So instead of saying Eureka server here, I'm just going to say Eureka client. That is one. Another thing is to add the Spring Cloud version because now we are using Spring Cloud. We are using Spring Cloud. So Spring Cloud allows you to work with service discovery and microservices provided by Netflix. So I'm going to, there are open source projects that are used for microservices that we should be thankful to Netflix. So, I'm adding the version at this point. So this is Spring Cloud version because we have this, we need the version. 
so also if you go to this place so what are we doing this is what we are doing now so we are going to set this to green as well so i'm going to just come here and maybe i'll just copy the uh, format and just set this to green provides print cloud version property that is what we just did when we said when i copied this across mm -hmm. And the next thing is to provide print cloud version property. We've done it. Copy over the dependency management section from the discovery server pom.xml to the admission service pom.xml. So there is a section that is called dependency management. So this dependency management more like helps you to I can't explain it perfectly, but it seems to manage the dependencies that if you put a version across it tends to uh, make that version apply to different dependencies uh, in this in the form of xml file or di di different dependencies in the application so i'm going to show the ribbon at this time so so this is where we are so i'm going to just set this to green copy over dependency management section so let's go to that place so i'm going to come here I can see this is dependency management section. So this I'm going to copy it across. I'm just gonna put it right after dependency. So I copy the dependency dependency management. And there is one thing we need to also copy, that is the repository section. So the repository section is actually not here for some reason because in the steps we are following here it says after copying the dependency management section as you can see the next step is copy over the repository section uh, over to from the XML file of the admission service that is print milestone repository. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the web page and I'm going to find this section so that I'll be able to copy it across. I'm going to go down to... So this is how it looks like. This is the repository section. So just copy it. And we are going to paste it at the end of the form.xml. So I'm going to do the same thing for the two other services I have. So again, I'm going to just... No, no, no this I'm going to take it out from here is going to be in admission service from the text and all right so then let's do the same thing for the pathology service and HR service HR service open the from the text ML so this time paste the repository section Pathology service from the text ML. Uh, paste the repository section. Okay, so let's now copy across the dependency management section also to the pathology and HR as well. So copy this. So I like pasting it immediately after the dependency section. And come to pathology service also paste it after you can paste it anywhere but i prefer pasting it immediately after the dependency section so i'm going to save everything i'm going to just click on save if you click on save you find out that it's taking some time to build the workspace as you can see here building workspace so it's going to do it three times and if we are successful we'll have that the spring cloud dependency has been added to all our microservices so let's try to check one of them let's admit this is admission service i'm going to check the maven dependency and you can see that the spring cloud taken uh, starter netflix is already added for us and that is great so uh, okay so let's see what do we okay so we have the version the version has not been copied neither have i pasted the neither have i also pasted the 
he enabled uh, uh, the, the Spring Cloud dependency. So this is, uh, I actually forgot. So I'm going to take the version here. So I'm going to go to HR service and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to go to pathology service. I'm going to paste it as well. And I'm going to then copy the, the Spring Cloud dependency for Eureka clients as well across to the pathology pom.xml. And the same thing I'm going to do for the HR service. After that, then we can be sure to have the, the jars, the, the spring cloud, the spring cloud jars to be downloaded first. So I'm going to save everything. So at this point, we should have the uh, the jars downloaded. Okay. Again, remember if you have challenges, let me know, and please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get updates.